Hello everyone. This is a lesson on Euclidean geometry. We're gonna look at the theorem that says a line drawn from the center of a circle perpendicular to the chord bisects the chord. We're gonna look particularly at the proof, how you do the proof of this theorem. In your exam, you'll be asked one, one proof out of six. So you need to know how to do the proof. But not every paper they'll ask this particular one, but you need to know all of them in case they ask you one. Okay, now let's look at the theorem, what it says. It says the line drawn from the center. So it means you'll have a circle because you can only have a center if you have a circle. We have a circle, we have a center. And then the line is drawn from the center of a circle perpendicular to the chord. So you'll have a chord. Our chord is AB. A chord is the line that goes from one side of the circumference to the other side of the circumference, but it doesn't go through the center. Now that line is drawn perpendicular from the center perpendicular to the chord. So that line is OD. It needs to be perpendicular to the chord. So if you get that in a drawing, what does it do? They say it bisects the chord. Bisect, it means it cuts the chord equal. It means AD will be equal to DE. This is what you're trying to prove in this theorem. So when you are proving in a theorem, you need to write what it's required to prove. You are required to prove that AD line, AD is equal to line DB then you have to construct. Construction, you memorize the construction. This theorem, it goes with this construction. You can't come up with your own. You memorize like it's written in the textbook. So the construction, it says we must join OA and OD. These lines, OA and OD, radius. So we're going to join those radius. When you do a construction, you do dotted line. Use your ruler and do dotted line and draw them. Now, with the construction, if your construction is wrong, you don't get a max. The whole theorem, you'll get a knot. And if you have done no construction, you're still not going to get a max. Even if everything that you have written is correct, if you don't have a construction, you get no max. If your construction is wrong, that question is not marked. You lose all the max. Okay, let's go to the, to the next step. Now the proof. For this theorem, you also need to memorize for all the theorems in this theorem, which conjectures do we use? In this theorem, you use congruency that we were taught in grade 9. So you're going to say in triangle, then you write this first triangle, OAD, OAD, and triangle, then the other, ODB, ODB. You remember with congruency, you, you, you need to have angle, angle, angle equal or angle, side, angle or right angle, hypotenuse and side. This is what we're going to use to prove congruency in this theorem. We're going to use right angle, hypotenuse and side. So the first thing that we're going to write, we're going to write AO in this triangle. And you write the things that are in the triangle under that triangle. So line AO is equals to line OB in the other triangle. And then both of these lines are radius. So the ruler is ready. In a circle, all the radius are equal. So that's why these two lines are equal. This line OD, the line OD is equal to line OD. Both triangles have the same line. So we say common side. Now the third thing that we have we have angle D1. Angle D1 in that triangle is equal to angle D2 in the other triangle. And both of them, they are equal to 90 degrees. Right? And the reason, the reason is given. You remember they told you that the line drawn perpendicular. So when it's perpendicular, it means it's 90 degrees. There are 90 degrees both these angles. Now, we have the two triangles congruent. Triangle O. A, D, congruent is three lines like that, equal sign by three, is congruent to triangle O, D, B. And your reason is you have a right angle, you have a hypotenuse, and you have a common side. So these two triangles are congruent. If these two triangles are congruent, therefore, the lines are equal. Line A, D is equal to line D, B. So this is how you prove this theorem. This is something that you memorize. And then you get, you get five marks if it's asked in an exam. 
But the, the more important part of this theorem is to know how to apply the theorem. So you need to get riders and apply the theorem. That's, that's what will be asked more than the proof. Thank you for watching.